Hello and welcome to my Pera sa Problema series. I'm your host, Leanne de Colongon, and we are going to interview online entrepreneurs that sells advice through their ebooks and online courses. Our guest for today, he started his business in 2017 to help entrepreneurs and business owners sell their products and services effectively using their website. He is a digital marketer and entrepreneur. He's the owner and founder of Digital Entrepreneur. Let's all welcome Butch Lerios. Hello, Leia. Uh, nice to be here. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you po for being here. Uh, Butch, can you tell us more about your online business? Yeah, uh, my online business is about... Uh, well, actually, it's it's called digital entrepreneur, right? And uh, actually, marami siyang transition eh. I mean, uh, from from uh, like selling ebooks, you know, like helping employees uh, like me because uh, as of now, employee para naman ako eh. Mm-mm. So helping employees to uh, have their side business or yung uh, magkaroon sila ng sarili ng business while being employed. Mm-mm. And then from that, I transition from from that you know like from that bit of business para magiging siyang uh, and uh, ultimately magiging siyang isang uh, you know website design business. Mm-hmm. So that's uh that's the transition. Mm-hmm. Pero actually I started as a uh, to be a uh, like a website designer first, you know. Mm-hmm. And sa ngayon po dun sa uh, digital entrepreneur, sino po ang inyong target market? Yeah, uh, at the moment, my target market, I got two target market, actually. So, first of all, my target market is, uh, first of all, yung employees, mm-hmm. because uh, that's when I started. Mm-hmm. You know, employees who want to have their own business, who wanted to have their own business, pero wala silang uh, malaking kapital, and also wala silang uh, oras, yung maraming oras para magdikosyo, maging full-time. Mm-hmm. So, by testing the waters first, you know, mm-hmm. like, uh, is this business for me? And then, uh, you know, like hopefully, yun din naman ang goal ko eh. Hopefully to uh, kick your own boss and, uh, you know, <laughs> have the uh, financial freedom. Mm-mm. And be the and own then secondly, boss. secondly, yeah, be, and be your own boss. And secondly, uh, freelancers as well. You know, like, uh, so yun ang target market ko in the, uh, you know, like, uh, because I'm a website designer. So, uh, so that's it, you know, like, uh, and then help you know, like, like help uh, businesses to have their own website. And then, kung meron sila existing website, and then, uh, you know, like, improve their website. Mm-hmm. Yung... Right. And when choosing these two target markets, uh, how did you discover yung kanilang pains and frustrations? Ano exactly yung mga ginawa mo? Yeah. Uh, ang ginawa ko, actually, kasi I can relate eh. Mm-mm. I can relate because uh, first of all, uh, yun din ang hinahanap ko. Yun din ang hinahanap ko na siyempre empleyado rin ako. Uh, excuse me. Siyempre empleyado rin ako. So, so naghahanap din ako ng paraan para makawala ba doon sa, sa pagiging empleyado. Ika nga. <laughs> so that's why I look for solution myself. Mm-hmm. So I think, I think uh, you know, like uh, many employees can relate doon sa frustration at saka pain na mm-hmm. ano na na yun nararamdaman ko as an employee. So that's why y- yun yung uh, that's how I find it first of all kasi mm-hmm. hindi yun yung fr- pains and frustrations ko eh. And then uh, looking at you know like you know like uh, while browsing the internet uh, and then uh, you know mga Facebook group Nakikita ko naman eh, marami naman na gusto magkaroon ng sarili ng negosyo. Kasi to be honest, uh, nowadays, it's uh, very hard to rely on one income alone. Diba? That's true. That's <laughs> mm-hmm. true. And after discovering yung mga pains and frustrations, dahil you mentioned that nakarelate ka din talaga sa yung target market, what was the first product that you sold to them? And kumusta naman siya during the first mm-hmm. launch? Actually, um, meron akong product yung Ibo ko. Pero to be honest with you, uh, hindi siya ganun ka-successful yung uh, aking e-book. 
Pero ang naging successful sa akin ay yung aking service. Mm-hmm. Yung aking uh, website uh, website service, website design service. Kasi ang uh, nangyari ay uh, because I'm working, you know, like I'm working in the uh, health health sector, like health industry. And then, uh, ano nangyayari kasi, we provide, uh, you know, like care for people na may mga learning disability, ganyan, mm-hmm. may mga mental health problems. So, what I did was, you know, like, uh, I, uh, what do you call that? Kinausap ko personally yung, yung, ano ko, yung company, yung pwede ba kung mer- may, nakita ko meron sila mga project, you know, like, uh, Meron silang website. Sabi ko, pwede, pwede nyo ba akong, you, you know, like pwede nyo ba akong isama doon sa project na yon yung, yung uh, team para mag-build yung website nyo. So, I mean, uh, being, sa tingin ko, ano, mag, ano naman ako, yung uh, honest and reliable employee. So, nakita naman nila yon So, my boss recommend me dun sa, ano, dun sa IT nila, sa mm-hmm. IT, IT team. Mm-hmm. So ganun yung, so ganun yung uh, istorya. So kaya nagkaroon ako ng na, nagkaroon ako ng mga referral through my boss and then na-refer ako dun sa mga projects na yun. Mm-hmm. And after that, uh, bakit sa tingin mo people should buy or try itong mga paid services like courses, e-books uh, wherein we already have a lot of free resources available sa internet, sa, sa YouTube, sa Google, yung tipong anything you can already search, tapos andun na lahat ng results. Bakit sa tingin mo, uh, importante yung uh, pagkakaroon ng mga information products na paid? Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, well, actually, uh, sa tingin ko lang, ano, based on my uh, perception, Actually, actually wala, wala naman difference ha, yung before yung before before yung internet boom at saka yung ngayon. Mm-hmm. Actually yung paid yung paid uh, courses, paid books, yung noon kasi 'di ba physical books. Ngayon mayroon mga e-books so mm-hmm. ang sa tingin ko lang ang nagkaiba lang naman is the uh, the access kasi mas madali na lang ngayon eh. Mm-hmm. Kasi uh, the internet provides, you know, like instant access kumbaga. So mm-hmm. mas padali na lang i-access ngayon. Pero uh, still it it depends on the person kasi eh. So kahit noon at saka ngayon, uh, yung e-books and then courses etc will benefit yung mga ano, yung mga will yung uh, will benefit ba yung ang ma- ma-attract nito ay yung mga taong may meron bang uh, motivation, yung, yung meron siyang motivation na para baguhin yung sarili nila. Ganun. It's still the same eh. It's still the same. So, noon at ngayon, para, parang pareho pa rin eh. Nagkaiba lang naman yung access, yung access to information, mas padali na lang. Actually, nagiging ang problema dahil uh, ngayon, dahil uh, mas madali na lang i-access yung information. So, mas marami yung parang nalilito sila eh. Nag-jajab, yung parang parang yung attention span nila napakababa, napakaliit na lang. Mm-mm. Para bang attention attention span of a housefly. <laughs> parang ganun. <laughs> so parang uh, so pero I mean, uh, depende pa rin sa tao eh. Mm-mm. Yung kung gusto mo talaga i-develop yung sarili mo, eh, mga self-help books, Mm-mm. talaga makakatulong, makakatulong sa ano, lalo na ngayon dahil na uh, uh, madali na lang i-access yung information. Pero again, meron para sa akin personally, Meron ding disadvantage eh. kasi nga yung attention span sa internet napakadami na. So kailangan talaga if you want to uh, sell ebooks, sell courses, kailangan talaga it can relate to them. Makaka-relate sila. Mm-mm. Relatable relatable yung mga products kasi nga sabi nga uh, yung attention span nga bumababa na dahil ngayon. Yung access sa information napakadami na, overwhelming, di ba? Mm-mm. So, would you also say na uh, yung mga paid na e-books and online courses na makakatulong din that someone is is mentoring you directly compared dun sa uh, free access that we get uh, on the internet na we cannot ask follow-up questions? Tingin mo ba importante rin that you, know, you have a mentor guiding you? 
Oh, definitely, definitely. Um, definitely, uh, kailangan talaga, may, ma- maganda talaga if you can have a mentor who, who will guide you dahil dumaan na siya doon eh. Uh, mm-hmm. na ex- he, exp- he or she experienced it before. Mm-hmm. So, malaking, ano yung malaking uh, shortcut, kumbaga. It can, uh, it can shorten your time para yung ma-achieve mo agad yung gusto mo ma-achieve. So, important, so for, for me, personally, it's uh, very important. Mm-hmm. You know, if you want, again, if you got the drive, if you got the, uh, if you got the, the motivation, nandun yung motivation lahat. Nandun mm-hmm. lahat. Kasi kailangan meron muna noon eh. Yes. Kasi kung wala noon, eh, bali wala yung mga courses. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's true. And, uh, on your business naman, um, uh, paano mo narinig or nakita yung tungkol kay Coach John Aranya? Yeah, uh, again, um, back in 2016, parang ganyan. But uh, before that, I'm looking for ways. Kasi nga, uh, as I mentioned a while ago, I realized na parang ang hirap na mag sa isa lang na income. So I look for ways. So yun nga, marami na mga investment opportunity na dyan ng stock market, mga ganyan. Doon ako nagsimula, so doon, doon, ko siya, doon ako naghahanap, mga ganyan, mga marami naman opportunities online uh, as an investment. So, so nakita ko sa Facebook, I think Facebook, yung ad ni uh, John Oranya. So I was intrigued. So nag, ano, muna ako, nag-join muna ako ng email list niya and then later on, mga webinars. Mm-hmm. And then sabi ko, uh, I think I'm ready. So that's why. Mm-mm. I take the uh, I take action. <laughs> okay. And since then, ano yung uh, pinakamalaking impact ni Coach John sa yo personally and sa business mo? Uh, for me kasi parang uh, dito ako nagsimula eh kay uh, kay John Oranya dito ako nagsimula. So para bang ito yung aking uh, nung pumasok ka sa school, ito yung grade 1. Parang ito yung naging foundation ko eh. So Para sa akin if wala yung uh, if wala si John Oranya na hindi ko siya na meet na ano probably may nakita akong iba pero at the moment I I should say dito ako nagsimula and then uh, ito yung nag-open sa akin na ah meron palang opportunity online pwede ka palang meron palang opportunity na kumita ka online mm-hmm. and- So actually sa totoo lang kung hindi ako nag-enroll ng course so hindi ako mag Baga, hindi ako matututo ng how to build a website kasi mm-hmm. doon talaga ako nagsimula. Mm-hmm. And after enrolling kay Coach John and launching your uh, own products and services, how much revenue has your business generated since you started? Actually, yung uh, freelance service ko, yung, yung uh, building, creating website for clients, Ah, uh, yun ang malaking uh, yun ang malaking uh, ano, yung revenue earner sa akin. Well, as of now, I mean, uh, at the, uh, as of now, I uh, uh, generated mga 600,000 of income already. Mm-mm. So malaki talaga no yung opportunity lalo na kung malalaman natin paano paano siya nagwo-work, yung process niya and uh, pinaka-importante yung you, you have a mentor guiding you all the way. ba? So, ano yung maipapayo mo naman? Your top three uh, advice para dun sa mga kapwa natin Pinoy na gusto rin mag-start ng ganitong klaseng business or yung tinatawag nating mga aspiring Filipino infopreneurs. Well, first of all, uh, do your due diligence first. Magkaroon ka. Tignan mo muna kung is the uh, is the business right for you so you know ask yourself uh, bakit bakit ko ba sisimulan tong negosyo na to bakit ko ba it doesn't matter kung internet or whatever you know uh, investment or business sisimulan mo so ask yourself I amina mean, uh, para kanino ba siya para kanino ba siya ginagawa kasi for me personally uh, malalim din yung pinagugutan ko kasi ang pinagugutan ko rin yung family ko ginagawa ko to for my family and then number two, and then if you, uh, kung napili mo na kung ano yung choice mo, and then take action. Actually, just, you know, just do it. You know, just gawin mo lang. Then uh, pangatlo, uh, magsimula ka. Create a Facebook page, you know. 
a Facebook group, whatever. A presence online. Yung presence mo online. And then, that's it. Then go from there. Uh, wag, mong, wag mong isipin yung perfection. Kasi ako, nagsimula ako, ano lang eh. Uh, yung web, yung napaka-crude lang nung nagagawa ko. Pero eventually, may improve mo rin naman yon So, don't, wag, wag mo masyadong isipin yung perfection. Basta magsimula and then improve later. Mm-mm. Ayan. So, very helpful yung mga uh, advices that you share with us today. Do your due uh, diligence and then take action. Start. Tapos, don't think about perfection. Ayan. Thank you so much for sharing this valuable insights with us today, Butch. Um, how can they learn more about you? Yeah. I mean, uh, they can visit my website. They can uh, visit uh, butchlears.com and then uh, I got like free resources in there that they can uh, download. And also, they can subscribe to my email list if uh, they wanted to. Alright, I'm sure maraming mga na-inspire na aspiring Filipino entrepreneurs sa ating uh, interview with Butch Lirios today. Again, thank you so much for sharing and for your time, Butch. Thank you very much, Lay. And uh, again, I'm happy to be here. Thank you. Alright, thank you. Thank you. Bye.